Hey guys, I want to just share something with you today. My heart's really, really heavy today um, about something that I'm seeing a lot of and it's just creating a lot of destruction. And, um, you know, my mama's heart is, is for you guys. And, you know, it's my mama lion coming out that I just want to give you truth to help protect you and to equip you against the lies that, that this world has fed us. And really, um, you know, there has to come a time where we say enough is enough. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at. I'm sick of watching my brothers and sisters be destroyed because the enemy lies to them constantly. Um, and again, I'm not being judgmental at all. This is a topic that I think the church has shied away from because they don't know how to talk about it. They're afraid to talk about it or they're in bondage themselves so they won't talk about it. Um, but it needs to be talked about. It needs to be said. Um, and I'm just talking to you in absolute love. I do not judge. I do not condemn. It's my heart. My heart is for you. But we need truth. And the truth is this. Sex before marriage is absolutely wrong. It is wrong. Okay? It is wrong. And the world has told us, it's okay. Do what you feel. Do it with as many people as you want. Test drive, right? You gotta make sure it works out. So make sure you test the waters and make sure you know what you're getting into. And that's just not the way that, that it, it's not even natural. It's not even natural for us to give ourselves away so much to so many people because it destroys you. Every time you do that, you're taking, you're, you're literally ripping a little bit of yourself out. You have to. The word of God says in Genesis, for this very reason, man will leave his mother and father and unite with his wife to become one flesh. That's just not metaphorically speaking, that's physically speaking. So anytime that we are we, we are uniting with somebody in one flesh, you are you are coming together with them. And the only way to get to break that is you gotta give part of yourself away in order to do it. And that's not the way God intended things to be. I bought into that lie. I bought into the lie. Well, he's my husband, technically, right? We're, we're gonna get married. So technically he's my husband. Technically it's okay, but it wasn't okay. The enemy only sold me the benefit of my sin. The enemy will only sell you the benefit of your sin. He will never ever share with you the consequence and tell you the truth of it. Listen, God gives us guidelines because he loves you. He wants to protect you because he understands that what we think we want is actually going to bring us destruction. What we think we want is actually going to hurt us. He loves you enough to say, don't go there until it's the right time with the right person in the right context. Listen, sex before marriage is wrong. It will bring destruction to your life. No one ever told me the shame that I would feel the next morning. No one ever told me the emptiness and loneliness I was going to feel from having given myself away. No one ever told me about that. They just said, if you do this, he'll love you. If you do this, he'll marry you. He'll stay with you. No one told me the truth. And I had to walk out the consequences of the truth of the lie that I believe, that I bought into. I don't want you guys walking through that. Sex before marriage is wrong. It will hurt you. God has so much more for you. He has so much more. You are not someone's to test drive car. Like you don't go rent it. You don't, people are not objects. Your heart is to be valued and protected, men and women. This is to all of you. Stop believing this lie that sex is just great and fun. It is in marriage, in marriage, you guys, in marriage. In Song of Solomon, three different times, the word of the Lord says, do not wake in love until it so desires. Do not arouse or awaken it until it's due time. Why? Because he knows that before that, it's going to hurt you. There's no other way around it. I love you guys. You deserve God's best. Let's stop throwing our pearls to swine. Stand on truth. Stand on purity. And God can remake you, man. He did it in my life. He can do it in yours. I can't tell my husband that I, I, I was a virgin, but I can tell him that now I have waited for you. And I want you guys to be able to say that, that you waited, that you, you valued yourself and that person enough to say, I waited for you. Trust me. The sex before marriage is wrong. We must stand on the word of God. Okay, the time is now. I love you guys so much. Run to God. Leave that shame at his feet. It's not from him. It's from the enemy. He does not want you walking in shame. He wants you walking in wholeness and freedom. So run to him with it. Lay it at his feet. Let him wash you. Let him clean you. And know your worth and your value, okay? Before you were any of those things, you were a son and daughter of the king first. And that's who you still are. All right? I love you guys so much. I'm always praying for you. I'll talk to you soon.